All right, what's going on guys? Uh, welcome to today's video. Uh, a lot of you guys know I recently redid my setup. I added some stuff, changed some stuff around. Uh, and I kind of wanted to give a walkthrough of that today so you guys know kind of what I'm working with, what I use to make my videos, what I use to stream, all that stuff in case you guys were trying to get started doing the same types of stuff as well. Now there's nothing crazy going on in here. I don't have any insane RGB lighting or anything. You know, I don't have any little uh, leaf panels on the wall. None of that bullshit. Because uh, I just focused on the main hardware first and now that I have pretty much everything that I need, you know, any extra stuff I want to spend on the setup will go towards the, the decorative bits. Uh, so starting off with my PC, I have an NZXT PC. Uh, it's an i9-10900K, 3080, uh, 64 gigs of RAM. You don't really need 64 gigs of RAM, I'll be honest with you, but uh, I've got it anyway. So we're running a dual monitor setup. The one on the right is the one that I game on and do pretty much everything on. The side one is just for Discord, reading chat, Spotify, pretty much everything extra. Uh, the one on the right is an Asus 1440 170 hertz one millisecond monitor. One on the left is a piece of shit that I used to use. <laughs> and uh, I needed a second one. I was like, well, I'll just reuse it. Uh, by the way, a link to everything that I use in my setup will be down in the description. If you guys want to check anything out or pick up something for yourselves. Uh, from there though, we have the uh, Go XLR Mini. This is my audio interface for streaming. Pretty much everything based on audio is done through the Go XLR itself. Uh, and to go with that, I have the Rode Pod Mic, which is a 90 or $100 microphone that actually has a pretty good quality for the price. Uh, most streamers use the Shure SM7B, but it costs 400 bucks. But if you pick up one of these and you know how to EQ it properly, you get a really good sound quality for half the, well, not even half the price, a quarter of the price. So for my mouse pad, I'm using an Odin Infinity V2, uh, the 2XL version, that way the keyboard can go on it too and dampen the keystrokes a bit. The keyboard is a Rocket, uh, Rocket Vulcan TKL. I don't really recommend it because it gets dirty really easily, it's hard to clean and maintain, but it, it looks okay, it's pretty cool. It's, uh, it's an aluminum frame, it's whatever. I really want to swap it out for a white ducky, uh, that way it goes with the mouse, but we'll get to that at some point. The mouse just got it in, Logitech Superlight, you guys already know, pretty much the best mouse you can get. Uh, I've used it for a few days now, I absolutely love it, feels great. Uh, I've got a pair of Logitech speakers. Uh, these are pretty much just in case I want to take a break from the setup and hop on the uh, exercise bike a bit, get like 15 minutes in, you know, uh, because if you're sitting and you're playing a long time, that is something you really want to consider. I think the bike was like a hundred bucks. It's not even that much. Uh, and it's a good way to get some exercise in uh, and just, you know, keep your body maintained a bit while you're playing for long periods of time. Uh, so Spotify is pretty much always running directly to those speakers. So whenever I want to get up, I can just crank the volume knob on that a bit, hop over there, get 15 minutes in, you know, uh, and then come back feeling refreshed. We've got a little salt lamp over there for the vibes. Uh, it's a Himalayan salt lamp, apparently, Apparently it's supposed to be good for you in some way. I doubt it. I like it though. <laughs> it looks nice. It's cool. I uh, got a little bit of RGB lighting on the side of the desk that keeps falling off, but you know, it is what it is. Um, the desk is an Ikea table. Uh, I'm not going to try and pronounce it because it's some Swedish shit, but it's a great desk. Uh, that'll be in the description below. This is actually what I just got in the other day. Um, before I was playing on that like Walmart fold-up utility table that right now I'm just using for additional electronic storage. I uh, got a few things I'm probably gonna sell there because I don't use it anymore. Uh, and it was really hard to play on that, <laughs> on mouse and keyboard because it's a, it's a granulated, really scratchy texture and I was on a really shitty mouse pad with a bad mouse. So all in all, it just wasn't the best experience, but now we're actually, uh, we've come up a little bit. You know, we have a real setup. Uh, and the chair is from GT Racing. It's pretty nice, I like it. Uh, it's a little bit confining on the sides because uh, I got a big fat ass and shit. But you know, it is what it is. That's pretty much the setup though. It's nothing crazy. Uh, I mean, the, P the PC costs like 3000 the monitor 600 So wait, I have like a $5,000 setup to be fair. Uh, even though you probably couldn't look, you probably couldn't tell from looking at it just because I don't have so much um, fancy lighting and all that bullshit people use to make their shit look more expensive than it really is. Um, but that's pretty much it. Oh, what is this stuff? Oh, that's my Discord. Yeah, you guys should join that. That'll be down in the description below. Uh, and if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, you guys should do that too, because we're, uh, we're closing in on 500 a bit. So I'd appreciate it if you guys uh, drop us up, check out some other videos. 
Uh, anyway, this is my first time recording a video like this, and it's probably gonna be fucking horrible, <laughs> but uh, it is what it is. I don't have a proper camera or anything. I'm doing this on the phone. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the tour a little bit. If you did, drop a like. Let me know what you guys are kind of using in your setup. Let me know what you guys think I should add, if you have any ideas. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Peace.